Okay, well, I imagine most of you uh, have replies like, well, yeah, of course form and matter are real, right? If substance is what exists and substance is composed of form and matter, of course form and matter are real. Okay, well, let's hold on here. Uh, remember some of the previous discussion we just had? Is form the same thing as matter? No. Form and matter are distinct from each other. They are not the same thing. Okay. Uh, what does it mean to exist? To exist is to be a substance. So if something is not a substance, then it doesn't exist. All right, and the question is, are form and matter real? Let's just take it one step at a time. Is form real? Well, <laughs> according to Aristotle. Well, if, if something is real, according to Aristotle, it's a substance. Is substance the same thing as form? No. Substance is not the same thing as form. Substance is composed of form, or somehow a composite of form and matter, okay. But just like water, you know, water is composed of dihydrogen monoxide, just like water is not the same thing as hydrogen, substance is not the same thing as form. Form and matter are distinct from each other. They are not the same thing. Think about matter. Is matter the same thing as substance? No. Same reasons, right? Form and matter are distinct from each other. Substance is a composite of form and matter. That means substance is not identical to matter. It's not the same thing as matter. Substance is not the same thing as form. Form is not the same thing as matter. Matter is not the same thing as substance. Yet when we ask, what does it mean to exist? Aristotle says substance. Substance is real. Anything else that's not a substance is not real. Ergo, form and matter are not real. Now, before you, you know, chastise <laughs> Aristotle too much about this, keep in mind, both he and Plato have fallen to an error or a trap that was set by Anaximander before them. Hmm? Anaximander warned you about trying to define everything in terms, uh, 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 to find existence in terms of the finite. Eh? <clears throat> so, you know, Plato tried with this, trying to define everything as being, the form of being. Like, okay, but when we ask what being is, he doesn't have a definition. He can't tell us. It's just, you know, it's being. No. Oh. Anaximander Ar warned us about this. He said, look, if you if you try to define existence in terms of the finite, you're either going to result in, you know, saying nothing, right? Just kind of repeating a word over and over again, or defining it in terms of two other things. And that's what Aristotle has done. Right. You, you know, reality, if, if what exists is just form and matter, well, now we have to say that there's what, two more things that exist? We've got substance, and we say there's form, and we say there's matter, and these three things exist. Oh, no. All right, we've lost this unified account of existence. Hmm. Annex Amanda warned us about this problem a long time ago. And, you know, for what it's worth, we keep falling back into it. Right? We keep falling back into this problem. Uh, both Plato and Aristotle tried to define existence, and they fell into this problem. And if we can't find a way, if we can't find a, a, a way to answer Anaximander, we're going to keep falling into it too. <laughs>